Hello, this is Sherry, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to draw a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Start by drawing an oval shape, like a really stretched oval shape. That's going to be your gold, and then draw the lid of the pot, which is just kind of like, it's almost like you're drawing a mason jar, just a really rounded mason jar. Next is going to be the bottom of the pot, and a couple of the legs at the bottom. And there I'm just finessing the lid of the pot a bit and outlining the rest of it and I'm going to fix up the the mound of gold in the middle there and erase what I don't need. There, now it looks like a proper mound sitting in our pot. So now I'm going to draw the rainbow. Start by drawing two arcs, one on each side of the pot. That's going to be your, the shape of your rainbow. Next I'm going to draw a cloud to attach to the other end of the rainbow. I'm sorry, that's a little bit too close. I'm going to zoom out a bit there. Now you can see I'm going to fix up that cloud a bit and I'm going to raise some extra lines I don't need. That looks much better, more balanced. So um, next I'm going to draw in the gold coins within the mound on top of the, uh, the pot. Uh, I'm going to draw a few of the individual coins uh, to help give it a little more realism. Uh, if it helps you, think of drawing uh, crescent moon shapes to show the edge of the coins that are piled up within. And now it looks like you, you can really see some gold coins. I'm going to add a little highlight to the pot and then another highlight on the lip of the pot. And now I'm going to draw in the lines to show where all the different colors of the rainbow are. You just need five lines uh, to separate them into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm going to outline everything in Sharpie marker. And then very carefully uh, I'm going to outline the rainbow. And I want it to be careful because if I move too suddenly or shake the Sharpie marker, then the rainbow will not look smooth. And uh, it's, if you ever looked at a rainbow before or seen a picture of it, um, they're really smooth arcs. And I want to maintain that smoothness. Next, outlining the gold coins, that pot of gold. And again, while you're outlining, just think of little crescent moon shapes while drawing the edge of the coins. And now I'm going to outline the pot or cauldron. If you want to make a witch's cauldron, you know, for Halloween, this is the same shape, same concept. So I'm done outlining. I'm ready to erase all the pencil lines. Use that lovely stretchy kneaded eraser, or what my mom always called it, gum eraser. It does kind of look like gum, just you don't want to chew it, obviously. Okay, so I've gotten rid of all the pencil lines. Now it's time to color. I'm going to start with the purple, and you always want to color the cool colors, like the purple, on the inside of the rainbow arc. If you ever look at the pictures of the rainbow, or if you look at one as it's happening in front of you, you'll notice that the, um, the purple is on the inside of the arc, and the red is on the outside. So here's the blue. 
working my way across the color spectrum. And coloring this rainbow reminds me of Lisa Frank. I used to have Lisa Frank folders when I was in school and I loved Lisa Frank because of all those rainbows, rainbow colors. Yay, memory lane. So I've colored my grain. I'm going to color with a yellow. And what I did before I even started this video is I tested all of the colors, like my orange, and um, I just tested it on a scrap sheet of paper to see if all the colors looked right together. Because if you ever get, say, a big pack of crayons or markers or colored pencils, um, not all of the colors work together. Some shades or tones are better than others, work, work better with other colors. Um, but it is fun playing around with that anyway, just to see what looks best. So there's the rainbow. Um, next I'm going to color in my pot of gold. I'm going to shade in all those little crescent moons and the gold coins. It's a darker, kind of a goldenrod color. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow there all throughout the mound of gold that I've drawn. And then I'm going to take my yellow and just color right over it. So now we have a gleaming gold, gleaming golden pot there. And next it's time to color that pot cauldron. I'm going to take my black sharpie marker to add some dimension by creating shadows. And you'll notice that I'm leaving a little bit of space. I'm not shading in right on the edge, but I'm leaving a little bit of space between the shadow and the outline of the, the pot. Well, except for the legs there, um, just because it's so dark. Um, and that, that's because um, I want to leave a little bit of reflection, a sense of uh, reflection and form, even if it's not a highlight. It helps it look more rotund that way. I picked out a gray. I'm going to color in the rest of this pot. Color around my highlight. Yay, there's my cauldron. Oh, it looks good. Now, I want to give a little more dimension to that cloud since I've got all this bold color everywhere else. So I put in some blue because the sky is blue. So clouds are white and they reflect the, the blue sky pretty well. If you ever look up at the sky and look at the clouds, you'll see there's a bit of blue um, in the shadows of the clouds. And that's why whenever there's a really pretty sunset um, and there's all these different colors on the clouds is because they're reflecting the light. So anyway, there you go. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Happy Patrick's Day.